everyone, my name is Christina Tiam and I'm an undergraduate student studying marine biology and I'm excited to share with you all about how I've been able to make Manoa mine. My name is Christina Tiam and I'm a sophomore studying marine biology and I'm also in the honors program. I attended Gretchen Whitney High School, which is in a little town in LA County called Cerritos, and I love studying at UH Manoa. So let's get into it. So why UH Manoa? After I received all of my college acceptances, I compared the marine biology programs at each of the schools I was considering. Once I determined which program seemed like a good fit for me, I sought guidance from my AP biology teacher, who was well aware of my passions for both marine science and research. She suggested that I look into what the professors at each university were specifically researching. After taking her advice, I found that my research interests best aligned with professors at UH. Moving to Hawaii was a really fun experience. I applied to live in Hale Aloha Lokelani, which is one of the freshman towers. I specifically chose Lokelani because that's where the Honors and Natural Sciences Residential Learning Programs, or RLPs, were located. Moving into the dorms was a big event to begin with, but besides that, the week before school started was full of a bunch of other fun activities. I attended NSO, or New Student Orientation, where I learned about the many resources available to students at UH. So as you can tell, there's a lot that happens when you first move to Manoa. A lot of it will be new and exciting, sometimes very overwhelming, but that's okay. Try your best to take it all in and enjoy the moment while it's happening. There's so much to do and experience as a student at UH Manoa. One of my favorite things about our campus is all of our food options. My favorite place to get food on campus is Bale, which serves Vietnamese food like banh mi's and pho. I eat at Bale probably four out of the five days I'm on campus. Another one of my favorite things about being a student at UH is going to sports games. I've particularly enjoyed going to our football games at Aloha Stadium, especially Homecoming, which has an awesome halftime show, and our men's volleyball games. As you can see in my photos, both of those games always end up being pretty packed because they're so exciting to watch. Despite everything I've mentioned so far, I've barely scratched the surface on everything UH has to offer, so let's keep going. This probably isn't a surprise by now, but the biggest thing I'm involved in at UH is research. I'm currently an undergraduate researcher in the Porter Vision Lab, which is a molecular biology lab that studies animal visual systems. I started learning standard molecular techniques working on a project identifying larval mantis shrimp. After a semester of working on that project, I wanted to take on a more complex, independent project. So I picked up a project analyzing visual systems in the copepod Labidosa majorae, which is pictured on the bottom left corner. I was able to fund this project through a grant I earned through the Undergraduate Research Opportunities Program, or UROP. This program funds up to $5,000 for individual projects, or up to $10,000 for groups of two or more. So if you're even slightly interested in it, I would highly recommend trying out research during your undergraduate career. There's research going on in all disciplines, so there's something for everyone. UH has more than 200 RIOs, or Registered Independent Organizations, which is just a fancy way of saying clubs. There are different types of clubs, from academic and professional clubs, to service clubs, to religious clubs, to sports clubs. And if you still can't find a club that seems like a good fit for you, you can make your own. All you need to do is find five other friends and submit an application. It's that easy. I've been involved with an RIO called The Navigators, and they were my first support system at UH. They really helped make my transition to college life smooth and super fun. Most of my friends right now are people I met through this RAO, and I actually currently live off campus with girls I met in the club. So RAOs are one of the best ways to become friends with people who have similar interests as you. For freshmen especially, getting involved in organizations really does help with the college life transition, so get involved and stay involved. One of the best parts about going to school at UH is island life. Living on Oahu is pretty awesome. There's so much to do and experience on island. On the weekends, I love going on hikes or finding hidden beaches with my friends. After a long day of hanging out in the sun, we usually try to find a cool local place to eat at before heading home. Be sure to enjoy everything the island has to offer. Reflecting back on my experience at UH so far, I have some advice for incoming freshmen on how to make the most of Manila. Number one, get involved and stay involved. This goes back to my story about finding my current group of friends through the RAO I joined. Two, don't be afraid to apply to anything and everything. When I first applied for a UROP grant as a freshman, I was worried I wouldn't get funding because I knew it was a competitive program, but it ended up working out in the end. This advice goes for everything, from scholarships to internships. Anything you're interested in, go for it. Three, be sure to enjoy island life. It can be easy to stay cooped up at home when you have a lot of schoolwork on your plate, but before you know it, freshman year will be over and there will still be a whole island to explore. Four, take lots of photos. Photos are a great way to document memories, and you'll thank yourself later for taking a moment to snap that shot. 
And last but not least, five, don't forget to call home. It's easy to get caught up with school and extracurricular activities, but it's important to remember your roots. Thanks everyone for listening, and I hope you choose to make Manoa yours.